Well, I was born in a small cotton town in the north of England. Things were pretty difficult because uh, everybody had lost their money um, because there was this great depression. On. I thought I'd like to be an architect or something like that, but I didn't seem to have many much talent in that direction or in any direction, really. I was 13 years old and had a blood test and saw these men in white coats looking down microscopes and decided on the, that moment I was going to be a pathologist. All right, here's the story of a man with two fabulous houses, one for the winter, one for the summer. The catch is they are right next door to each other. How does that work? So this is um, a retired orthopedic pathologist, Dr. Peter Bulla. Looking so at him right now. He has a vast collection of books and contemporary art and medical oddities, a lot of historic artifacts. This room is the library I always wanted. This room is an exact cube. Oh, here's the Nuremberg Chronicles. One of the earliest printed books, a coloring book done by Andy Warhol for children, which I bet very few children actually saw. If we started on books, we'd be here for weeks. You wouldn't be able to stop because um, there are very nice things in here. Do you enjoy supporting young artists? Yeah. It's better to support young artists than to waste your money on dead artists. My fantasy is for young artists to find themselves, come and live here for two or three months, just to get away. There's a house on Lake Como in Italy that does the same thing. I think that was, of course, endowed by the Rockefellers, so this is a little different. This is Delacroix. Uh, well, I, I prefer to converse with things rather than man, is that it? Do you like that? The work is worth more than the man. Regret for the passage of time, the charm of youth, brings me back again with an incredible power among those dear objects and dear moments that are no more. To feel oneself surrounded by papers that speak. I mean, drawings, sketches, souvenirs. Therein lies a happiness which at many moments seems superior to all others. <laughs>